Hey guys, it's me, Colton again. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick little review on the Navridge SSG96. This is the M220 spring or 600 FPS with 0.2 gram BB variant, the most powerful variant you can get. I'm going to start from the tip of the gun and I'm gonna work myself down to the butt of the gun, okay? First, the tip is actually orange underneath. This is a thread protector. You can spin it off counterclockwise. It's all metal construction on the outer barrel, which is really nice. The hop-up is going to be top dead center right here. And yes, the screw can strip fairly easily. You have to kind of be careful with it. For me, it's a little bit stripped, so I have to like angle my Allen key just right. The stock and sling mounts are all pretty nice. They are a little bit protrusive. Nonetheless, not bad. The stock, starting from this end here, isn't super bad. It's not like this crazy awesome polymer, but I mean, it's polymer, but it's not bad. It, it really is not bad at all. And the gun is amazing. This is all metal construction down to the receiver, everything. It's all metal, really, really solid. There's a few different connection points on the gun. You have this one right here. You have this one. And then you have the one underneath the trigger guard here. So you have three points of contact, which this gun is uh, really solidly built. You can buy the scope at the Navridge website. It's not that bad, actually. Uh, the scope does its job. You'll see in the shooting portion of this review here shortly. Moving on, we have the uh, grip. The grip isn't super bad. Uh, underneath where the seam of the plastic is, uh, you'll have a little bit of abrasion here on your finger, but all in all, not bad. If you're wearing gloves, you won't notice it, which I highly recommend wearing gloves when you play Airsoft, even though I'm a noob. The grip is nonetheless fairly comfortable. Moving on to the buttstock here, it's really solid. This you, The cheek riser is adjustable. It's plastic though. Moving on to the very butt end of the gun, we have your adjustments here, and this is really solid. Pla I'm sorry, rubber, not plastic. This is rubber, and it's grippy. And then what I really like is that it's angled cut right here for comfortable shouldering, and it's awesome. I, I love this. This gun is great. It's very accurate. In the shooting test, you're going to see uh, it... It has range. Honestly, it can go well over half, uh, halfway across the field that I have, and it it's very impressive, the accuracy out of this gun with 0.49 gram BBs, so understand that this is also the most powerful version. The magazine does punch out really easily. However, I bought a few extra mags from Navridge website, and one of them has an issue getting out. It, you just kind of have to finagle it, and it's just a little bit weird. It can be a little bit annoying. The trigger is flat-faced, plastic completely, except for the internals. The internals is not plastic. So the gun is pretty hefty. Nonetheless, uh, the gun probably weighs in the ballpark of 7 to 10 pounds is my guess with everything on it. Other than that, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the shooting test. It's very quick. Uh, that's what this video is supposed to be. Okay. Here's the SSG 96. I got a target out there by the tip of the barrel in black. Just kind of give you a good idea of how far it is. I'm going to do my best to give you a shooting example of the accuracy and range on this thing.
was another hit. For reference. That's where we're shooting. Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Colton. I uh, hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Obviously, I'd love it if you guys uh, hit the like button, comment, talk about it with friends, and share it. I'd love it. And uh, until ne next time, guys, cheers.